Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Final Fight 3, which if you've never played it before, it's a side scrolling beat up like Streets of Rage or Final Fight. Um yeah, and it's basically a much improved sequel. So anyway, at the start you just simply push start and skip all the uh, usual stuff. And here we go. Then at the start you've got one player, two player, auto two player, which basically means you can play the game co-op on your own, because you can have a computer and you can set the computer's level a good crap or normal. You can then choose the game level and the options as well, and your controls. But there's nothing much more than that. There's no lives or anything like that, so if you're the type of person who needs to increase lives on this thing, you're going to be a bit screwed. Anyway. There's four characters to choose from. Guy thankfully makes a return. You've now got Lucia and Dean who are new, and Hagar also makes a return. Hagar's always been my favourite. I play him on every single one of the Final Fight games. Guy's always been my brother's favourite, and to be fair, I'm saying Guy makes a return. If you've only ever experienced this series on the VC, you won't know who Guy is, because obviously we got the crappy SNES version of Final Fight 1 with less levels, no co-op, and he didn't have Guy in it. So, yeah. Hopefully the arcade version will eventually come out because it's fantastic, just like all the Final Fight games are really. I'd also like to see, oh, I can never remember the name, I think it's Mighty Final Fight or Final Fight Mighty or something on the NES. I'd love to see that come out. But anyway, onto the gameplay. You've got some new things this time, you've got some special moves, just like as if you were playing Street Fighter. In fact, one of the characters can even do a fireball. You've then got this special move, which is a super finisher, and some of the characters it's a bit hard to pull off, like Hagar's, because it's a reverse fireball. You, basically, anyone who's played a Street Fighter game will know that a fireball is mainly down, diagonal, down, forward. This is forward, diagonal, down, down. So it's a little hard to pull it off, but uh, yeah, you've got some special moves now, but the rest of the time you've just got your usual beat em up stuff of punches and, well, there's no kicks, you just automatically kick if you need to and that. You can uh, grab, you can jump, you can throw, stuff like that. So, yeah, not much to say there then. So I'm just going to shut up now for a bit of the music, and then I'll finish off. So there we go then, that was a bit of the music, and it's just usual beat em up gameplay, you go left to right, kick the crap out of the enemies, get the end of a level, fight a boss, do it all again. This one's longer than the others, it's got something like 8 stages, I see it's got something like, because it depends on how you play the game and what you do depends on what stages you get. There's then also a couple bonus stages as well. So yeah, if you like the series or the genre, it's definitely worth getting for 800 points, and I'm afraid that really is everything I've got left to say, so yeah. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.